Here's day one of my video journal of my trip to Australia. Coming into Australia, it looked a lot like Vancouver in the Fraser Valley. When I got to my hotel, I noticed right across the street was a big stadium, the Melbourne Cricket Stadium. To my surprise and delight, there was an Australian rules football game going on, so I went and checked that out. Next, I decided to walk around the town, and I noticed that they had the rent bikes, just like Toronto and Montreal, and maybe we'll see them around our area soon. But I also noticed that there was light rail transit everywhere. Everywhere I looked, there was light rail transit. From here, I went to downtown. This is the fashion district on a Sunday evening, packed with people. It's kind of like Robson Street, but what do you see everywhere? You see light rail transit. You don't see any buses, you just see light rail transit. And as you can see, all you need is a roadway. You don't need any special elevated tracks, any special big stations, and it goes in every different direction. It intermingles with the cars. It was really neat to see, and a lot of people were using it. Didn't matter where I looked, there was light rail traffic. And in this next shot, you'll see that this light rail transit's not all modern cars. Apparently they've been using this. This looks to be from the 30s or 40s and it's still operational and still working. Although there was no one on this train, uh, maybe it was going back to the yard. It was, I saw many of these trains around Melbourne. And here's a train that was probably from the 60s or the 70s, still in use. The other interesting thing was everybody got on and off at any door that opened. No fare gates, but they did have a smart card system. Walking around the town was a mixture of courtyards of old architecture and modern design. They had the Chinatown area, not as big as Vancouver, but still there, and lots of great buildings. They had lots of great sustainability, and here's just one example of putting trees in lanes. Old cathedrals all over the place. And on the end of today, we'll give Winston Churchill the last word. Talk to you tomorrow.